Has anyone ever been able to prove narcissistic abuse in divorce court? Yes, actually it happens quite frequently, asterisk here. What people don't understand is that finding a spouse is a jerk usually doesn't amount to much in the divorce action. Most people believe, falsely, that if they can show the court that their spouses are narcissists or some other type of insufferable personality, that this will result in the court bringing down the wrath of God on the narcissist and showering the other spouse with sympathy and riches for his or her trouble. Not so. Literally hundreds of thousands of people going through a divorce have spouses who suffer from or who are suspected of suffering from personality disorders. And they sometimes believe, quote, if I can prove to the court that my spouse suffers from, get ready for the list, antisocial personality disorder, avoidant personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, dependent personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder, narcissistic personality disorder, obsessive compulsive personality disorder, paranoid personality disorder, schizoid personality disorder, or schizotypal personality disorder, well then I'll win everything my heart desires in my divorce case, or dang near close. No, you won't. It's not the narcissistic personality disorder or the borderline personality disorder that matters, but actions or a failure to act that matters first and foremost. If your spouse is physically or emotionally abusing you or the kids, and let me pause here, please accept that when your spouse occasionally disagrees with you or criticizes you or your children or holds differing views, that does not make him or her emotionally abusive. So if there's real abuse, it doesn't matter why, if your spouse has a drug or alcohol problem or a gambling habit, or your able-bodied spouse is lazy and thus not taking care of you and the kids, it doesn't matter why. There's no excuse for this kind of behavior. An abusive or grossly irresponsible spouse is bad regardless of whether he or she has a personality disorder. See? Now here's the asterisk. That does not mean that a judge necessarily makes the specific finding of Quote, husband or wife is a narcissist who abused his or her spouse, close quote. But many courts find in making or denying awards of marital property and assets, alimony, child custody, and parent time, and protective or restraining orders, that a spouse and or parent engaged in lying, cheating, manipulative, exploitative, abusive, neglectful, irresponsible, and or parental alienating behavior.